YouTube. It's been a little while. It's great to be out again. I'm here at the shore of Ullswater today where I'm hoping to get a nice shot of the Milky Way or some good night photography here. I saw a forecast for clear skies tonight so I've just hopped in the car and came along down here. So I'm just setting my camera up now um, and I can maybe take you through that setup. Okay so as you can see it's beginning to get dark here. It's not quite dark yet. So the Milky Way should be over somewhere in that direction. So I'm just setting up now. It's going to be a similar sort of composition to this, something similar to make the most of the sky, just like a little bit of, don't really need any close foreground. I think the hills just make a nice silhouette. I've kind of rushed this a little bit today because I didn't know the forecast was going to be clear. I would have liked to have planned this a bit better and gone somewhere else, but I'm going to try here and just see what I can get. Okay, so I'm at a ridiculous ISO, so I don't know what quality this will be, but I just wanted to show this on my lens, which um, I've got wrapped around it. And this is just a little lens heater, and this just stops my lens fogging up as it gets colder, because I think we'll get some um, dew on the lens tonight. And it's just USB, and it just plugs into a, a little USB power pack that I just hang off my tripod. So that's a very useful bit of kit that I've got. Okay, so because I'm going to be at f.2.2 and it's still daylight, I'm going to use that daylight to my advantage. I'm going to focus on one of the clouds in the sky, so I should be focused at infinity. Um, so I can pre-focus, put the lens onto um, manual focus to do that, and then I don't touch it again, and it should stay in focus for when the Milky Way's there. So what I'll do is, when it comes to actually taking the photographs, so it'll probably be too dark to show then, um, I'll set my camera at f2.2 as you can see and the focus as I've mentioned. My ISO will probably start at 3200 and I'll see what a test shot is like from that and that'll probably be on a 10 second um, shutter speed. And then I'll just have a look at the image and just adjust just that accordingly so it may be dropping the ISO if I can. And what I usually do is I'll take 15 shots um, of the sky and then I'll stack them when I get back home in um, on the computer post-processing just to reduce the noise so that will give me a clearer image of the sky and also I'll separately stack the photos as well for the foreground so that way I can get some detail into the foreground. I may also take some shots now while the light's here and then maybe blend that foreground into the ones that I'll um, into the sky images that I'll use so I'll see what turns out best. So, so I've also forgotten the lead for my intravelometer that I use. I'm going to use the in-cameras ver um, version of this. So you can see on here where it says intervals times shots over interval. I've set that to 15 times 1. So what that will do is that will take um, 15 photographs at the um, settings I've got on the camera. So I can set the settings I want and then just um, come onto this and press start. And it will take the photographs that I need without me having to plug in an intervalometer into the camera. The planet's up there, I forget which one it is now. I'll have to check that and put that on the link on the video. But hopefully it won't be too long before it's dark now. I'd recommend this kind of photography to anyone who sort of give, wants to just give it a go. It's absolutely amazing when you can just sit under the stars at night. I mean, they're not quite out yet, but you can see one or two that are sort of beginning to show. And soon the sky hopefully will be uh, full of lots of stars, so hopefully get a nicer shot. Well, I dec definitely recommend getting a good head torch. Usually I have it set on red so I don't use my um, night vision, but I've dropped a lens cap. <laughs> hopefully, ah, there it is. Okay, some intravalometer is firing on the camera. It's going to just keep shooting now, hopefully for the next hour or so, maybe get a little time lapse out of this, but I've got a horrible feeling it's going to cloud over, so we'll see what we can get. Okay, so I've got an, an ISO of 3200, I'm at an F number of 2.2, and my shutter speed's 10 seconds. So that will keep firing now, and hopefully I'll get some nice shots. If I don't get a nice time lapse, hopefully there'll be at least a nice photo in there somewhere but i've got a horrible feeling and just going to get low cloud just in the wrong place so we'll see how it goes and hopefully fingers crossed we'll get something nice out of this okay so this is the final image and i'm quite happy with this i think i've got i've got some good detail there in the milky way and i'm really happy with that ended up stacking i think 10 images for the sky overall which i think has really helped sort of give that detail 
I also start separately for the foreground, I think 15 images, and that's allowed me to sort of um, bring the shadows out a bit and get a bit of detail on the hills there. I quite like the reflection in the water, but I'd say probably the only thing I don't really like about this is maybe those lights from Glen Ridding are a little bit bright and take the eye a little bit, but there wasn't really a lot I could, um, I could do about that. But overall, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Okay, so I'm going to end the video there. Now on the night I did actually take I think between three or four hundred shots I just set the um, intervalometer off so my camera would keep firing and I've put all them images together to make a time lapse which I'll put right on the end of the video once um, once I've gone and you don't have to look at my ugly mug anymore but if you have liked today's video please do hit that subscribe button it'd be much appreciated and you get to see more videos from me in the future also you can check me out on Instagram as well so thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.